Hey guys, and welcome to Functional Print Friday. So I realized the other day that I'm operating a bug hotel out here, and I didn't even realize that this is a, a mini split a heat pump here for our house. And when it was installed, they set it on these sort of like plastic rails here, I guess. And uh, hard to see with the lighting right now, but uh, it's just filled with spiders and other bugs and stuff. And there's two of them here, both sides are open. I would think that these things would have come with caps, but I don't know. Maybe not. I don't ever remember them having caps. So let's make caps for these. And I'm thinking just PLA. I've had really good luck with PLA outdoors. Now this spot is gonna get more sun than some other areas I've used PLA outside. So it's kind of an experiment at the same time. TPU might be a better filament, but I'd have to dry it and I'm lazy. So let's try PLA. But first, let's see how much this crap we can vacuum out of here. All right, we was able to get most of the stuff vacuumed out of here. The next thing we got to do, obviously, is measure the shape and draw it. And it's going to be tricky for a couple of reasons. Number one, it's pretty complex. It does, uh, it's narrower at the top than it is at the bottom. There's these sections here. It's also sagging a little bit just from the weight of the unit, so it's not perfectly uniform. This looks like a fairly even thickness uh, throughout. And then we have this rail up here. We don't want to cover that up because there's like a bolt inside there that this guy slides back and forth on. So water's going to get in there and we need to, that water still needs to flow out. So we don't want to cover up that section. What I'm thinking is let's try and just get like a paper rubbing of this and then measure off of that and just try and average out, you know, sort of our inconsistencies here where it looks like the material is just kind of compressed a bit. So let's give that a try. All right, and here's what that rubbing looks like. So now the idea is to just take the calipers and just right here at the comfort of my desk, um, you know, try and get some rough measurements from this, just trying to figure out what the overall width is at the bottom, at the top, um, the height, and sort of the section widths here. And, uh, you know, do a test print, see how it fits. We'll probably go through a couple of different iterations until it fits perfect. But with something like this, particularly that is compressed from something sitting on it, that is just an extrusion, it's really tough to get an exact measurement and hit it the first try. So let's see how we do. All right, and here is a design that I came up with for this. So I think the next step is to just go ahead and do a test print before we spend any more time on this. My guess is we're probably gonna have to adjust these keyed sections that slip in a little bit uh, and may also need to adjust the, uh, the width of the, uh, the, the large base section as well so that we're flush on all the sides. So I think what I'm gonna do is just knock the height of these down a little bit so it prints faster, uh, get a test print out, see how everything lines up, and then we will make adjustments from there. All right, and our test print is complete. And this is green because I used the uh, bamboo basic filament that uh, bamboo sent with my printer. I haven't actually made any real parts with this, but I keep using it for like prototyping because their stuff prints faster. I'd like to try and find another filament in like any color that I don't have to buy from bamboo that I can print with the bamboo settings um, to go real fast for just test prints like this, because I know this isn't gonna fit, the question is how close is it gonna be? And it's, this is gonna help me read where I need to make the changes. So I'd like to find a filament that replaces this. Let me know down in the comments below if there's any filament you guys are using uh, that will run at like the, the, the fast profiles on the bamboo printers, which you know basically just means a higher volumetric flow at the same temperature. I don't know what they add to it uh, to do that, but this stuff prints super nice, even super fast. This took like 20 minutes. Uh, it's close, so a couple problems I see right away. Our curve up here is a little bit off. Our bottom is sticking out too far. Uh, the material is a lot thinner down here, and I think this might actually, we might be kind of getting a little bit of a lip here at the end. So we're gonna have to shrink. We're gonna have to pull down on this, um, adjust our curves up here a little bit. And it looks like we're kind of loose on the rest of the, the structure, like this internal structure here. So what I might do is just uh, actually increase the size of these sections a little bit, maybe pull these all out, um, maybe like 0.25 millimeters, so we're half a millimeter bigger overall on each one of these sections in overall size. Let's give that a shot. 
All right, and take two. So I made the adjustments here on the bottom, drag these guys all out a little bit bigger. If I grab the original one, you can kind of see the difference. Our, you can see our, our cross here is a little bit tighter than on this guy, and we're much smaller on the bottom, and I adjusted that curve to be a little sharper at the top, so let's see. Oh, it's really close. Our curve up here looks good. We're still too big on the bottom. So we're really close. What's going on now is it looks like uh, we still need to come up a little bit on this, uh, this bottom face and also uh, this, this section down here, this pocket, I don't know if it's because it's pressed down a little bit and I averaged it too much when I measured it from the, the rubbing, uh, but that section is still too big. I'm going to have to take a little bit of material out of the, the bottom here, so not just this face, but these these bottom sections that stick up to fit the key in there. By the way, I'm going to print these taller. I just I just knocked these down to get a fast print to see if we get a fit. These will be a, probably at least 10 millimeters taller, so that they key into this deeper. Which actually, you know, come to think of it, yeah, there's screws on both sides here that that mount this guy down to the base. Uh, I'm probably not going to just pull this bottom section up a little bit. I'll probably pull it up a lot. Uh, there's really no reason it needs to be the full size. We'll probably pull this up to like here so we clear those screws. I don't know on the on the rear. Like these two happen to be in the same spot. So I guess we could just do that one side, but the rear might be different. So let's just pull that bottom section up. All right, take three. I pulled this up not quite as far as I said I was going to. I just wanted to pull it up enough to clear that screw. I might regret that. We might have to pull these up a little bit more, but let's see how the fit is. Aha! So it's not perfect. We could be a little higher up here. Ooh, that's actually right there. That's perfect, and that's good because we want that to drain. Like there's, I can't even feel the difference between that surface and that top face there. Uh, this is taller here. Sides are good. Actually, sides are really good. The fit's tight. I mean, I, we wouldn't even need to make this. I'm having a hard time getting it out there. So. We wouldn't even need to necessarily make these key parts longer to stay in here, I don't think, but I'm going to anyway, because this guy over time, just uh, running, vibrating, uh, might start to push this guy out. Uh-oh. No, there we go. Yeah, I think that the difference here is, and actually one of the reasons that this, I think, is gonna key in so nice and tight is because these are all bowed just slightly differently from the pressure that the, this outdoor unit is placing on them. So that actually, that's good. That means these are probably gonna stay in place nice and tight once they're done. Yeah, that's gone all the way in, but we definitely, we still have that same gap here. And actually we have more of a gap on this side. I might go, should have brought the calipers out with me. That looks like every bit of three millimeters uh, to my eye. That fits still good there. Yeah, I think I'm gonna pull this top edge up by three millimeters. All right, and I'm thinking gray PLA for this. Uh, if we do black or white, I mean, white wouldn't be bad. The problem is we're not gonna match this off white and it's gonna fade in the sun anyway. Uh, if we do gray, it's gonna be close to either this steel here or the, uh, the gray resin base. So yeah, let's do gray PLA. All right, these are done. It's a little bit dark out here, but we got some lights. Let's uh, see if they fit, see how we did. All right, that fits great. We are even with the top on this side at least. So we're one for two. Let's see how the other side is. Oh, cherry, that fits really good. I brought, uh, I brought this guy out because I thought we might need to tap them in, but uh, they push right in place and they don't feel like they're gonna go anywhere. Let me bring you guys in closer. See how tight that fits to all the surfaces. Really, really pleased with that. And the color looks really good too. It's actually quite a close match uh, to this bottom part. It's maybe just slightly lighter. And I think that's honestly just the surface finish on this is a little bit shiny from the, uh, the textured bed on my, uh, my P1S. But yeah, it looks, looks really good. This side, 
Good fit too. This side, there's a little bit of a step down, but that's okay. The step's in the right direction. Water's still gonna drain out of here. Um, it is interesting that there's just a bit of a different fit. Like the top feels the same, but there's just a tiny little step there. I can feel it with my fingernail compared to this one that is like perfectly flush. So, but they, uh, they fit tight all the way around. Calling that done. And yeah, I know I gotta do two more for the back, but it's hard to film back there anyway. And uh, they're actually printing on the bed right now and I wanna get this video out. But you can imagine what the back is gonna look like. It's gonna look just like the front, except it's the back. Guys, as always, thanks for hanging out for this week's build. This is one of those projects that, you know, when this thing was first set on this pad and I saw these open ends, I thought, I'm going to 3D print some caps for that. That was four years ago. So here we are. It finally got done. Glad I was able to share it with you guys. If this is your first time on the channel, we do a new functional print like this, or, you know, usually something a bit more interesting than this, but we do a new functional print every single week. So if you're into that sort of thing, uh, check out my other videos. And if you want to see more like this in your feed, hit that subscribe button. And guys, if you do, I'll see you next Friday.